What is up, everyone? Welcome to the podcast. Hope you guys are having a great day. Um, today we're here to talk about some IndyCar. Yes, sir. Yeah, what's it is. Indy 500 just happened today, boys. Yes, sir. I'm um, just going to run over the IndyCar, run over favorite drivers, favorite cars, teams, <laughs> all the fields, boys. Um, hope you guys are having a great day. May 27th, Indy 500 day. I hope you not be having a good day unless you're in Indiana. You know how it is, boys. You know how it is. You already know how it is, right? You already know how it is. So, uh, yeah, hope you guys are having a great day. I mean, let's not waste any time and just jump right in. Oh, that idea. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. So, uh-huh. Indy 500 just happened. So, how was the race? Good. It was a good race. It was a good race. but Not for Catherine we... Leg, though. <laughs> <laughs> but before we say anything, spoilers are coming. So, do not uh, watch them. Get out and look up the leaderboard if you... <laughs> Or watch the race if you don't want to hear spoilers. Yeah. You have been warned. Okay, let's jump right into it. It was a good race. It was a great, it was race. A great it was race. A great race. We watched. Um, we watched it off and on, but we watched yeah. like the last like fifteen minutes. So a little tradition we have here in the Wagoner household, even though it's not this household that does it, it's his household. So we're cousins, by the way. This is Andrew. I'm Ben. What up, guys? <clears throat> um. Um. So. Andrew. Andrew Wagner hosts a Indy 500 party every single year and invites, I mean, all of Indiana. All the people that don't go to the 500, uh, the 500 itself come to this party. <laughs> you gotta admit. So, There's just um, a lot of people, yeah. Yeah, so, um, tons of people go to it, and we have a few traditions at it. Um, he has a huge backyard, and we kind of just do lots of pool stuff. Um, tons of food there, oh, basketball. Yeah. Today we played pool lacrosse, which is a great Pool time. lacrosse, very recommend it. You just go yes. to Dollar Tree and get a little stick. Yeah, but it was, um, it was very fun. Very fun. Um, but, yeah, we were watching the race off and on, but especially the ending. We watched about the last, like, 25-ish laps. Um, um, it but, was a great race. Yeah, so another thing they do at the Wagoner household is they have a bucket full of all the racers that are in the race right all the drivers yes, sir. all the drivers that are going to be in the race that year and so and so uh there's a kids drawing and an adults drawing and basically you pay five dollars right is it five dollars one dollar one dollar five dollars for adults five dollars for adults you pay one dollar um for us at least and you pick a driver <laughs> you pick a driver and uh, that driver you pick, if they win, you get all the money that people chipped in to get their driver. So say me and uh, 20 other people, we each get a driver, 20 bucks. Say my driver that I picked win, which today she was nowhere close. <laughs> she got out her couch, her uh, her car burned down. <laughs> her, her engine blew up. <laughs> um, <clears throat> But yeah, if say my driver wins, I get all that money. I get the 20 bucks that I always put in, so. Yeah. yeah, it's a good old time. It's, it gets people rooting for somebody, even though they, even if they don't have like a specific IndyCar driver. But we do, because we're into IndyCar, right? We do. Ben, who, who is your who is your guy? My IndyCar driver? Yeah. <laughs> Alexander Rossi is my favorite IndyCar driver. Um, and I don't even know how it happened, but in, back in the day, in uh, fourth, fourth grade, fourth wow. grade, um, wow. <clears throat> we were doing a... Indy car unit because we live in Indiana, me and Andrew. And I think it's like required by state law that you have to do something Indy car related. Yeah, in school. Um, in, in, like, we education. like learn about drivers. And yeah, stuff. learn about drivers, learn about the history of the, the <coughs> race itself or IMS itself. Um, and so, yeah, that's required by Indiana state law. So, little plus of living in Indiana. Get out. <laughs> um, but. but yeah, so I was learning, we were learning about that in school. And the teacher, I don't know why, but they handed out this bookmark of Alexander Rossi back when he was on Team Andy Ready. And I, I don't know. I just, oh, well, actually, I don't know. I looked at it. I was like, cool, Alexander Rossi, cool. I looked at the back, and it had, like, three fun facts about him. One was that he loves dogs, which I was like, man. Why do you remember that? <laughs> I don't know. Well, two, I forget the third one, but two was that he was a huge Tom Brady fan. Me and Andrew, Michigan fans? Tom Brady fan. Yeah. Go blue. Go blue. If you can't see for you podcast people, I'm wearing a Michigan shirt as we speak. <laughs> um. So yeah. Uh. Saw that and I was just like, "This is my guy, Alexander Rossi, my guy." Sure. So then that year, my kind of 
uh, like, liking for IndyCar just grew exponentially. I watched the race for the first time. It's like my stomach after today's snacks. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Um, but yeah, each year I just kind of just kind of grew. Uh, I got a jersey of them. Got the Aaron McLaren team hat. Um, got like toy cars. And actually, last year at the Indy Grand Prix uh, in late July, got to meet him. So, kind of just grew up uh, for the love of Alexander Rossi and the love of Indy cars. So, Andrew, who's your favorite driver? Connor Daly. <laughs> so for, for, those Daly. You, for those of you who don't know, so me and Ben had a favorite drivers. It was Alexander Rossi for him. For me, it was Connor Daly. <laughs> there was a reason um, behind that, wasn't there? It was just because my, not my, my sister, I have a twin sister, by the way. Yes. My sister's teacher is cousins or just very best friends with Connor Daly. Hmm. And so she told us about them. Um, and we're very close with her, too. So His sister's good. teacher's cousin is Connor Daly. Exactly. Um, but, yeah. And then, uh, if you guys don't watch, uh, you, probably, you guys probably don't know. But there's a show called The Amazing Race. Alexander Rossi and Connor Daly actually went on it together. Hmm. They did horribly. <laughs> they did? I don't, I don't know. I, don't I think care. I actually got second. Really? I'm pretty sure I, I'm pretty sure I looked that up last year or something. Hmm. But, um. Yeah, and then he just started to, like, fade away, you know? He wasn't talking about him often, he, and so yeah. I was like, guys, it's time for a new driver. And the reason that he kind of faded away was just his performance, kind of, to be honest. Yeah, yeah. I'm not trying to be a bandwagon, kind of, yeah. but, like, but if, like if, if you're rooting for, like, a last place person every single time, that's not going to be fun. Yeah, it's you're not going to be disappointed every single year. Wow, he got 24th this time, yes! <laughs> I, I don't even, it, I don't even know up. what he plays today, but... um. Something. So I was like, time to get a new uh, favorite driver. And I saw this little guy named Pato Award, baby. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Um, very great guy. He's so funny. Uh, just a great personality. Like, it's nice to have, like, somebody that you're rooting for, but, like, especially with, like, a really good personality, you know? True. Um, and so that just makes everything more fun. And also a guy that always performs well. Yeah, he also does good. He got second today. <laughs> Dang it, Joseph Newgarden. Joseph, if you're watching this, come on, man. Yeah, so, about. Joseph, if you're watching this, I'm coming for you. <laughs> okay, but, um, there is about a zero point zero 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 for one percent of the chance that Joseph sees this. <laughs> mm -hmm. But uh, or anybody for that matter. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> but Grandma. <laughs> Except for Grandma. Thanks, Grandma. Thanks, Grandma. <laughs> but um, <laughs> but. Let's talk about today's race. Today, very good race. At the end, there's three guys. Alexander Rossi, Pato Award, and stinking Joseph Newgarden, bro. <laughs> Man, it was, it was, they were going back and forth. Rossi was in first for a while, then Joseph, then Pato. Yep. Made me so mad. I was really hoping for Pato. He did, he did pretty good in the last lap. I thought he was going to seal it. But in that third last turn, Joseph Newgarden has to come. Man, just absolute obliter obliteration. Yeah, it just, it was terrible. Yeah, so, back-to-back's -back's never really fun to watch, you know. Back -back, mm -hmm. Like, like Joseph winning his first one last year was great, but then, like, you want somebody new, you know. Especially yeah. a guy like Pato, who seems to have such terrible luck in every single race. Mm-hmm, exactly. Last year, and this year for that matter, he comes in second more than anybody in any sports I've ever flipped flip and seen, I feel like. It's never both flip and seen. Like, he comes in second and third, and he he placed, I think, second in the sports, in, in, in the points ranking last year, which is like, you get points, if you guys don't know, you should, probably should know, but you get points based off how you place in the race. So, last place, we'll get way fewer points than first place. Um, And he placed, I believe, second behind only Alex Polo last year in points. Um, and yet he never won a race. He hasn't won a race in two years, maybe more. I forget. <laughs> but he didn't win all last year, and he hasn't won one this year. So he lost a couple years ago, though. I thought that was the year where, as we talked about earlier, yeah, I pulled it. I pulled the name out, and it was Pato Award, and he actually won. But I didn't get any dang money. <laughs> but no, you got third. He got. He got third. Or he got. Yeah, he got third. He got third in the five. Yeah, yeah. Sisters. Sisters, if you're watching this. Still mad at you to this day. <laughs> you they didn't give me any money. money. <laughs> um, but yeah.
But yes, yeah, so <clears throat> Pato, great race. Rossi, great race. New Garden, obviously, great race. Girl, just But um, I think, you know what I feel like? I feel like IMS handled the uh, rain situation very well today. I think they did. I think they did. Um, it was very, it I'm, turned into nothing to something. Yeah. I'm sure it was very hectic to be there because sadly we weren't there. Um, but, bro, next year, we got to go together. That'd be insane. That'd be so lit, bro. Yes, sir, bro. If we went together, bro, that'd be crazy. But, yeah, fast. Yeah, so, delay happened, um, but everyone, like, I feel like everyone who really wanted to watch it, like, got the opportunity, you know? Exactly. But I feel like IMS handled it very um, safely and, like, just, like, as organized as you can be with 300,000 people leave, exiting the stadium at one part because it's pouring down rain and lightning and stuff, so... Yeah, kudos to them. Very, yeah. very long yeah. delay, but they they yes. did good. Um, it was obviously those crashes, obviously, but it's yeah. better than it could have been. So yeah, that's good. And like the drying off of the track and stuff, smooth and stuff. Mm-hmm. So yeah, shout out to IMS for keeping a world event. <laughs> IMS, if you're watching, thank you. <laughs> Doug Bowles, if you're watching. <laughs> but yeah, guys, uh, it was very, very great race. Very fun to watch. Mm-hmm. Let's talk about a little bit about what happened at the end there with the three people. Right. I believe at one point it was Rossi, then Pato. No, Ross, sorry, sorry. Rossi, Rossi, then Newgarden, then Pato. Pato. Yeah. Pato makes a move, beats both of them. Mm-hmm. Oh, now yeah, it's, now it's Pato, Rossi, Newgarden. Mm-hmm. And um, Rossi, I feel like Rossi fell off sadly because he just ran out of push to pass, with, which people who are un, uh, unfamiliar with push to pass. Think about it in Mario Kart terms. Push the pass is like a mushroom that helps you speed past your opponent when you're trying to, to like move up in the place um, and beat them, uh, like to get in front of them. Um, and you are only eliminated a certain amount of that push the pass per race. Thank you. Per race, which uh, Team Penske seems to cross that rule a lot, <laughs> by the way. New Garden might just get this title handed over to Pato because Penske has been cheating a lot this year. <laughs> but um Eric <I'm> Gunnar Prince. <laughs> he like <don't> know. <laughs> but yeah, um So Rossi I feel like just ran out of the push to pass. He was kind of um going at it all race with New Garden or not all race, but in the final um about fourth of it, um going back and forth with New Garden and McLaughlin. Um That was crazy. Yeah. It was, I, just, I was, back, it was, I was just back and forth. I was biting my nails, folks. Yes. Bad. Nails? On the edge of my seat. It was just terrible. gone. It was crazy. I was... Yeah. We definitely yelled at the screen a few times. <laughs> yeah. But, um... Then New Garden makes a move. Gets past Rossi. So now it's Pato Rossi... Or Pato, New Garden, Rossi. Mm-hmm. And New Garden... Kind of just... Is just sitting behind Pato waiting for the final lap, to be honest. He could have passed mm-hmm. him in the second lap, but... um. He's kind of just like waiting for the moment that he gets to happen, and Pato kind of just gave it to him. To be honest, he kind of—I bet he ran out of push to pass too. Penske, Team Penske is always really good at just like handling their push to pass and just really everything every single. <laughs> but like, um, man. Also, yeah. Towards the end, Pato, he he had an opportunity to pass Joseph, yeah. and he just laid off. Yeah, I think that's the. I think that goes back to the push to pass thing, though. I bet you he just ran out of push to pass. Mm-hmm. Cause, but yeah. Cause like, I know Pat. I know Pat. I don't know him personally, but I know Pato and how bad he wanted to win that race. Mm-hmm. He would not have backed up. He was not. He would not have backed off due to fear of like crashing or something. He was going all out to win that race, no matter what. And that the announcer said it too on 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 live television. Um, if you weren't there, he, they said when when Pato went to um pass him and then like. Kind of backed off a little bit, and New Garden sped up, and or not sped up, but gained distance after that. The announcer <laughs> said, "That told us all we needed to know." Lay Diffie said, "That told that tells us all we need to know," and that tells us that he was kind of just out of push pass and was kind of running out of his opportunity. Mm-hmm. He later passed him, um, but honestly, New Garden was expect it was. Um, was destined to win from the final 10 lap. I can't lie, though. The amount of push to pass he had left. Justin Newgarden is a really good racer. He is. He's a good driver. Yeah. Yeah. He's usually very good. Back to back, like back, to back at Indy 500 is not easy to do, folks. Yeah. It's just, it's just not fun to watch. Yeah. 
Nobody, yeah, especially, nobody wants especially, to have sex. Especially, especially, the new wife. <laughs> especially because it was especially hard to watch, not just because it's back to back, but because Rossi and Pat are literally our favorite drivers. We are not bandwagons, folks. Yeah. Rossi and Pat have been our favorite drivers since 2023, which is not that long, but like still. They, well, Rossi's been mine since like 2020, but yeah. Pat has been his since like 2022-ish. Um, but like, yeah, like, Two and three, and this guy's the one, and he also went back to back. It kind of just all builds up, and then you kind of just are in the wind with it. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Anything definitely, else to say about today, Andrew? Definitely. The race, race day was fun. Race day was the, fun. Oh, the partying and stuff, that was very fun. Yeah. Honestly, the anticipation build up to it, too, with the rain, honestly made it even better, to be honest. Mm -hmm. I'm sure. Yeah, ben, you... ben was, uh, didn't know if he could come down because we live 45 yeah. minutes away. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, we see each other a lot, but it's it's not, like, on the daily. Yeah. So, we were just, like, we kept texting each other, and we were, like, come on, bro. We just, like, got to go for the rain. Away, bro. Yeah, so you yeah. can come down. Yep, and it all worked out. Beautiful day. Beautiful afternoon. Yes, yeah, sir. It was, a, it was a great day. It, it turned was. into, like, rain and thunder to straight up sunshine and rainbows. I mean, wow, yes. Wow! Couldn't have said it better. Wow! Okay. <laughs> that wraps it up for the podcast. <laughs> we'll see you next. No, but, um, yeah. The, antis the anticipation and build up with the rain and stuff just made the 500 even better. Such a special day in all of America, but especially here in Cornfield, Indiana. Cornfield, Indiana? <laughs> yes. Yes, sir. Nothing but Cornfield. Um, yeah. I think that sums it up. I think we, that's a good... I think that sums it up, guys. Yeah, um... Hope you guys had a good day. Um, hope you guys had enjoyed this podcast. A little bit of a short podcast, but uh, a little bit yeah, of shorter time. but a good one. You know what I'm saying? Shorter but a good one. Yeah. Um, Sorry. Yeah. So, um, if you want to see more podcasts, uh, comment below or just um vote what you if you want to see another podcast, and we'll probably do one of these for Detroit Grand Prix coming up. Detroit Grand Prix always a good follow Detroit up to the Indy 100. Prix. Um, such a crazy course that is. Um, where you got yeah, IMS, where it's just oh, smooth ovals, and then Detroit Grand Prix, where it's basically a Mario Kart, Mario Kart circuit. <laughs> it is. So, yeah. Well, we'll see you guys in the next one. Yes, sir, guys. Uh, hope you had a great day. And uh, had fun watching the race, if you know what I'm saying, guys. Yes, and uh, yeah, we'll see you in the next one, guys.